Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Josh Strife. Hayes. this is Dead Space 1. You guys are, as always, the gorgeous audience. Catastrophic failure. Oh, that's the worst kind of failure. Right, let's go back this way. We continue our Dead Space 1 adventure. There, oh, there are so many explosions. This is not going as well as I'd hoped it would go. At least... We've got ammunition and life and medipacks. We're in a strong position. Oh, bugger, now we're outside. Okay, I'm guessing... Wow, that's awesome. I'm guessing we jump from one place to another, then I'm going to follow the blue line. Up there we go, then. We're running across the exploding hull of a ship. That's, that's very cool, I'll give it that. That's very, very cool. How much air have we got left? Do we have enough time? Oh, I've got nearly a whole minute. That's fine. We are doing great for oxygen. I've upgraded the oxygen on my suit, so we're doing A-OK. -okay. And we're back. Let's get the airlock going on. We should be... There we go. Ooh, something red over there. Not sure if that's the lighting or if it's. Oh, it's just a light. I thought maybe it was some kind of flesh. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? That was way too fast. Gotcha. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get into a fight that quickly. I thought we'd have at least a few minutes before they decide to throw the enemies at me again, but apparently no. We are going straight in. I've got loads of loads of open inventory slots, so we are definitely filling them full of ammunition. I can't even afford anything. Oh my goodness. Um, pulse rounds, maybe? No, plasma energy is better for me. That'll do. Now I've got three nodes. As soon as I find a bench, I am ready to upgrade. Brilliant. Let's ah, we're back at the tram station. And there's a bench. What do you know? Now our suit seems pretty much maxed out. And we've managed to get the plasma cutter almost all the way there. Damage is there. The pulse rifle, I think the next thing we need to start upgrading the damage on it so yep one I could go two and three and get more damage again as well yeah that seems like a good idea because the pulse rifle is firing lots of bullets so if I can increase the damage of each of each of those bullets it seems to be the most efficient thing to do let's run Oop, missed the ramp good job Josh good job Whew, another chapter down how are you guys doing anyway? Hope you guys are having a good time. Please feel free to let me know in the comments. Chapter 9 done. After this game, I think we'll go straight to Dead Space 2. You know? Why? Why not? Let's accept and save. There we go. And definitely overwrite the previous save. Chapter 10, The End of Days. That doesn't sound good. That's never a good thing. I mean, there's no, there's no nursery rhymes called End of Days. There's no motivational books. I think I've located the shuttle Hammond found. Shit. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. Someone removed the navigation cards. God knows why. There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. Brilliant. Go and find the magical MacGuffin. And then off we go. Ooh, look, there's a box. Straight away. Let's start by doing something I know I can do and just kicking a box. While I'm here, I'm going to reload all the guns I've got, just in case. Oh, they're all reloaded and good to go. Is that an item down there, or is that a flashing light? I can't tell. <gasps> it's an item! Some may call me a hoarder. Those people would be correct. What the hell is this? Okay. 
This is very romantic. We've got candles. Is there going to be some Ferrero Rocher and a dinner waiting for me? Because I might not be able to say no if that's the case. Ah, there it is. The symbol of the game. Hot duo. Fuel cakes. <laughs> Feel. Bang, bang, kitty. Nice, I'm loving these posters. That's cool. It's a nice little... Can we throw the chair around? Yes, we can! God, physics, man. Physics in games is great. Now it's given me all this ammunition. Which is normally a bad sign. I want to follow this lovely trail of candles. You don't look dead. And yet you are. What is that? What? What the hell? You had your face wrapped with something. Interesting. You've had bandages put around your face. If those guys been shot in the head, did they shoot themselves in the head to avoid turning into whatever, whatever they were going to turn into? I mean, respect if that's the case. Isaac, you're very angry, stamping those boxes. Very angry. There's a store just there. I don't need it yet. I still need answers to what is the marker and where is the good doctor? Remember the one who ended up... One who ended up going a bit insane and... Why can't I loot the money? Hello? I'd like to take the money, please. I'm walking forward and pressing E, and it's just not... Not allowing me to do the thing. Oh, well, okay, cool. I guess you're... You're illegal money. I'm not allowed to have you. I'll save the game. I'm aware that nothing has happened since I got off the ship, but I'm still going to save the game. Aha! So what's in here? Security hall. Anything exciting going on in here? Carpet! Finally! Infidels. Nah, not feeling that. I'm finally happy to see a spaceship with a bit of carpet going on. That's not carpet, that's just biological floor. It moves. That's quite nice. Oh, dude, no, no, no. That's what the holes in everyone else's heads were. He's been making holes in people's heads. Oh, I bet some of the little slithery creatures go into the hole or slither into his brain. And that gives them control of the human host. Oh, God. I'm hearing noises, but I'm not sure where they're coming from. Okay. Yeah, if I can chase this doctor down. If there's going to be lots of little things, I'm getting this machine gun out. Because what I don't want to be facing is lots of those small things. I can't run. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, there you are. Hello there. Coming in the way that I came. Okay. Coming through the door then, are you? 
How many of you are there? I'm going to stamp you. I'm sorry, but you need to be stamped. I don't like this. This is... Maybe I just shouldn't stay in the dangerous area. I'll leave. Let me leave the dangerous area. If those things with the exploding hands stay at a distance, they're fine. I can kill them from a distance. Not a problem. It's when they get close that it's dangerous for me. Okay. Oh, jeez. These are the ones that split into all the bits, aren't they? All the pieces. And push you back even further. Whoa! Get off me! Good thing I upgraded my health, because this thing needs to die. Ugh, I'm out of machine gun, not out of machine gun ammo, but I haven't got any bullets in the machine gun. That's the big problem. And the machine gun's the easiest way to take these guys down. So I'm going to need the machine gun out and then reloaded so I can actually shoot them. Ugh, no, I, where are they all? No, I can't get rid of all of you fast enough. I need to use a uh, medipack and then reload. It's a good thing that you can stop in the middle of a firefight and use a medipack. That's a truly good thing. Oh my goodness, stop moving! And I'm now... I've got one bullet left. May as well fire you. Switch back to the only gun with ammo. Okay, so taking on two of those long spindly ones is actually, in a confined space, is somewhat tough. Keep forgetting I can't run when I'm on this horrible, sickly, disgusting kind of biological floor. Oh, hello. What is that? Objective complete. Oh, I found one of the crew cards. Brilliant. And you're normally a power node. Ace. Anything else down here to collect? I don't think so. You probably head back up. Oh, there's a box over here. Now that took a lot of my machine gun ammo, because I'm going to be honest, I was panic firing quite a bit. I'm ready for this room to fill up. I'm also ready for those guys over there to get up. Where are you telling me to go? This way, okay. As if you think I'm going to trust you, mate. Look around you. Have you seen this spaceship? Housekeeping have not done a good job of stopping the alien infestation. And now you want to just have a quiet little chat once I've done all the hard work. How about no? How about no? I mean, yeah, if you'd gone around and got all the cards yourself, totally understandable, mate. But you haven't seen what I've seen. There's some ammo right there, which of course makes me think the game wants you to run straight to the ammo bit. Oh my goodness, will you please die? almost all your arms off. Not 
Any more arms left, mate? Oh, goodness. I've got to take the actual arms out. There's no point killing the babies if I can't take the main thing that's producing them out. There we go, that took a lot of shots. That took a lot of shots. What's this way? I'm okay for health though. Health is pretty strong right now. Doing okay for health. I can reload the machine gun seeing as I picked up some machine gun bullets. And I'm going to stick with the pistol for the time being. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to get the machine gun out just in case those small things crawl out of somewhere. Which, knowing dead space, I'm sure they will do. in the wall. So, no, oh, it's just a light in the wall, obviously. It's locked, but I have a key card. And here we go. No, no elevator music, not very ambient. Can you see anything, Isaac? Don't get me wrong, the rule of cool definitely applies to your helmet, but can you actually see anything? Small confined space, lots of vents, exactly the opposite of the kind of place I want to be. Chances of you being dead? Zero. Yeah, apparently you are. Well done, Dead Space, you confuse me once again. Some more ammunition. Anything going to be here when I come out? Apparently not. Now I'm wary of going into the middle. Ooh, a save station. Beautiful. A lot more stamping things. Picking some stuff up and there's so much blood. I can forgive it for being bloody this time because it's a different ship, but there's still so much blood. Okay. Handy dandy line. Oh, I can move these things around, can't I? Excellent. Can I? No, apparently not. Whoa, it's the big massive arm tentacle thing again. My least favourite of all the things. I'm trying to shoot the thing. Come on. God, there we go. That got very close to actually taking me that time. Whew. I like how it's it kindly, you know, every now and again takes a break and just lets me shoot it. I appreciate that a great deal. So I need to go into the storage room, but I also want to explore what's down here where the arm was dragging me towards. Any items? Yeah! Don't know what that was, but I, I got it. So go me. I'm also missing one small bit of health, so I'm going to use a small med pack. Again, I can hear something but not see it. Override the door lock? Absolutely. Boom, son. Door lock overridden. Okay. More items on the floor. Is something going to spawn as soon as I open the door? No. Yes.
Of course it would. Some ammunition that I ran past and then missed, so I ran back for it. Where was the... Where was it wanting me to go? Back this way, okay. This is a very big confusing ship, so please forgive me for not being 100% on board with exactly where to go. Ah, I see, so the door override got me access to there. Cool. Save as usual. Such an old school thing, saving. If anyone's still watching all this, this way into the run through, the daily vlogs are going well. If you want to pop onto my YouTube channel. Okay, so the life function's not working either. I'm going to pop onto my YouTube channel and have a look at the daily vlogs. It's uh, a glimpse kind of behind the scenes of my life. If you're just here for the games, that's absolutely fine. So I've got a race time. As I try my hardest to get... Oh, goodness me, okay, that's what was attacking me. There are so many frickin' aliens. Where am I going? This way. I swear to God, when the life support system is back online, I'm coming back through here and finding all the items that I missed. I don't even have any oxygen, so I've got to just make it. I can't wait. Oh, got to go back this way, okay. 47 seconds. What's that? Is that a... Sub-objective complete. Okay, cool. Can I go back now? So I've got 30 seconds to get away. As long as nothing else spawns, I should be fine. It's a really good thing that I upgraded my... Oh, this is this is not the right way. What's that? Is that... I need some freaking oxygen, man. Now I've got 20 seconds left to get out. I'm never going to make this. I'm never going to make this in time. There's no oxygen stations anywhere near where I need to be. I've got literally 10. Oh my god, that was so close. I had 10 seconds left. Oh, that was so close. Let's save. It's a good thing that I upgraded my suit with all the oxygen because if I hadn't, that would have killed me. Down to the final few seconds. How am I doing for ammunition? Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Making good progress with this this game and the ammunition, to be fair. I still don't think you can see a thing, Isaac. I managed to get its leg. Yes, it got away, but I got its leg. Have I been in here yet? That's, that's a bathroom. Yes, I have. Uh, what I'm going to do is use one of these smaller med packs, because there's no point not using a... In fact, you know, I might even use a stasis pack, because it's getting to the point where... Throwing stasis at a fast-moving enemy is a really good idea. One shot, one kill. As long as I hit you in the right place. Missed the first shot there. Oh, hello, you guys. It's 
Hard to tell which bits of you are alive and which bits aren't. Because they all just look like scurrying masses of flesh. I need to find this doctor who's so convinced he wants to help the aliens win and show him the error of his ways. Ooh, a bench. Did I pick up any nodes? I honestly can't remember. I think I picked up one. I did. Uh, don't need any more air. Plasma cutter's pretty much there. Pulse rifle. Ooh, reload speed. May as well take it. Seems good. And a save point would be beautiful. Oh, hello. A text log. United We Ascend. Is Unitology a new hope or just another scam? If you've been living on Mars for the last 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims 78 billion of stock in multi-global companies, and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions. And it lists the institutions just there. From its beginnings as a cult of personality, Unitology, this is being very, very, this is definitely alluding to Scientology. Unitology has become a respected, established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up ever instituted by Earth government, the discovery of an artifact, or marker, which proved, beyond any doubt, there is alien life in the universe. The government labelled Altman a kook, but his claims struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life. Through rebirth and ascension to heaven, the kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. This is so just Scientology. They've got this spot on. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower. And these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria. Giving money and power to the church. This is literally just ripping apart Scientology. Think taking all your money is bad. The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody will say. And attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With their emphasis on transformation and rebirth. Maybe we wouldn't like the answers, even if they told us. One rumour that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding programme. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size, continue on page 94. I see. I wonder if one of the ships that we went on, the Ishimura planet vessel is one of the government fund one of the the unitologist funded ships that'll be interesting well let's save the game here break the video apart and guys if you're interested in the story of dead space seeing what happens if we ever get off this goddamn ship and find the doctor that's stabbing holes in people's heads please come back for the next video ladies and gentlemen i will see you there